Hey everyone, we're gonna go in for a bit of a serious one this time. Now, understand the purpose of this video is not to beg for sympathy, not to be like, oh, go donate to my Patreon or send me money through PayPal or whatever so that I can feed myself. That's not at all the point of this video. Uh, so go ahead and get, get that out of your head. This is just something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Some of my friends know that this has been the topic that's been on my mind for a while recently. And now there's a chance that there may be intermittent lawnmower sounds in the background because even though I can't find where this person mowing a lawn is, apparently they've just got the most horsepower you've ever seen in a lawnmower. But then, you know, begs the question of, well, if you've been wanting to talk about it for a while, why'd you wait? Honestly, it's just because I've been so backed up on videos that I need to get out. Uh, I still got like 10 that need to go out. So, um, yeah, I'd just say I'm bad at prioritizing. Uh, the, th the thing I want to talk about today is YouTube's copyright system. Um, I understand that it's important to have that on this type of platform where it's easy to just wait until the trailer comes out for a major movie, re-upload it with the exact same title, and get hundreds of thousands or even maybe millions of views. It's a really simple tactic for people that don't know how to discern things. All you have to do is clip the footage around them. Most people won't be any the wiser. Uh, you can do the same thing with a music video. Do the same thing with like footage from a football game or any sporting event or whatever. You can just rip footage, put it straight back up, and then boom. And uh, it's important to have some sort of representation over your video so that that doesn't happen. Like... A while ago, people were taking Jacksepticeye videos and putting them straight back up, and taking, uh, like, Markiplier videos, putting them straight back up. Whatever. It's not the point. Uh, the thing is, though, yeah, you could argue that it's like, oh, well, you make compilations of other channels and of celebrities. That's just ripping content, isn't it? No, because by all rights, it should fall under fair use, because more often than not, it's cut up into bite-sized little pieces, rearranged. Uh, it's got zoom-ins of some sort. It's got text put on the screen. It's got some sort of music in the background that has to be copyright-free. I've done a lot to transform the content into my own. And um, it's still difficult to put out a video like that and hope that it doesn't get stricken for some reason. And um, it's happened before on uh, two of them that I put out that were from the Written Link channel uh, by a studio that claims to be Studio Studio 71 underscore 2 underscore 1. Now, Studio 71 is real. Studio 71 is a major MCN, but Studio 71 underscore 2 underscore 1, if you look that up, if it's part of the Studio 71 thing, it should still take you to Studio 71, right? It doesn't, though. It takes you to a Reddit thread of uh, people trying to figure out what Studio 71 is. Um, you can find other YouTubers that have been claimed for this sort of thing. It's even uh, They've even claimed to be representative of Jacksepticeye. And they also claimed a Matthias video. But the thing about that Matthias video is it was claimed by the content owner. It didn't, it didn't say that it was representative of any channel or anything like that. It was just... Ma manually claimed by copyright owner. That doesn't mean anything, you know? That doesn't make any sense. And uh, the thing that happens when you get a content ID on your video is, yeah, you can dispute it. You could be like, this is fair use, or this is wrong in some other sort of way, or maybe even I own the license to this thing, which, I mean, I've never had the situation, but I'm sure people have. But um, YouTube washes their hands of the situation. They do not get involved in a copyright dispute whatsoever. They um, they just let things go the way that they go, you know? Uh, so you send the dispute, it goes back to the people that issued the claim in the first place. And you're basically just hoping that you can change their mind. And that they'll be like, okay, yeah, you know what, sure, we'll release the video. That never happens. That never happens. You just end up with a demonetized video that... If you're like me, you'll end up taking down at some point. Um, that sucks. That really sucks. Because I've had so many copyright claims just by accident. You know, like, 
on one of them that I made with Tom Holland, I used like five seconds too much Graham Norton footage, and the whole video was demonetized for that. Uh, my The first time I ever had an issue with the copyright system was over a year ago, when I had like maybe 20 subscribers. I did a video comparing Captain America Civil War to Justice League because Captain America Civil War introduced Spider-Man better than Justice League introduced The Flash. And that video got claimed because I used like 30 seconds of Justice League footage. Meanwhile, I used over a minute of Spider-Man, not Spider-Man footage, Captain America Civil War footage. Disney didn't care. Marvel didn't come after me. Nobody came after me for that. But even though I zoomed in on Bruce Wayne's face, put text on the screen to make the scene a little funnier and all that stuff, it was still just like, oh, well, that's just straight up. That is straight up our footage ripped right out of the movie. And it's just so stupid because I, I disputed it. It didn't do anything. Um, I, I did a video about Sherlock where I used a little bit of footage from the show to contextualize the point that I was making and I got claimed by BBC. And I've been claimed by BBC twice now, so I don't think I'm ever gonna cover anything from BBC ever again. And it's really easy, again, to say like, well, don't use other people's footage or show stuff or content or whatever, and then blah, 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 whatever. You can say that if you want, I'm not gonna take that feeling away from you. But in more cases than not, it's because I'm using footage from a thing to contextualize what I'm saying in my video, which is my content. I'm not just re-uploading a scene from Sherlock with nothing to add to it or say about it or anything like that. And even with my Red and Link compilations, which people keep telling me to do. I have talked about doing other things in my community posts and everybody's like, well, I'm just here for Red and Link because that's obviously all you do. But then when I do more of that, they're like, all you're doing is stealing people's content. You're not making anything original. So what the fuck? Pick a side, please. But the the, the, thing, that, the thing that's most frustrating about this whole copyright system is music. Because uh, if you know my actual channel and not just my Red and Link stuff, I use a few different songs for my outros after I'm done talking in my video and it's time for you to either hit the subscribe button, watch another video, or move on with your day. Um, I had to do that because a lot of songs that I put in there were reclaimable. And the thing is, I think it's, it's supposed to be that if you use 15 seconds of a song, it can be claimed. Not anymore. And now it's gotten so bad that even if you're playing a video game that's got copyrighted music in it, you just, you gotta, you gotta do something about that. Some games do come with a YouTuber mode that turns off copyrighted music, which is very helpful. Shouldn't even be necessary. YouTube should be able to discern that sort of thing. That's why they need to have human eyes on the case at all times, but whatever. But I've gotten so many music-related demonetizations. Sometimes I'm able to pull the video and then put a new outro in it and then put it back up. But sometimes it comes way after and I've already deleted the source footage so that I don't, you know, I just have a bunch of old videos sitting around. So I just can't make any money off that video. I did a video uh, about, uh, about Captain America that got like a thousand views, but it got demonetized because I used um, Caravan Palace comics. There's just, it gets to to, be, to a point where there's nothing you can do. And there's really, it gets so frustrating when you have something like a remix or a mashup or a re-edit of a song. Like, there's this YouTube channel I love called Adam Emmond. He does videos where it's like, he'll take a song and then he'll switch out beats two and four to make it funny. Or he'll cut out every other beat to make it funny. That should be transformative. That should be a remix or a parody at least. Or if you have a song where it's like, at the end of every line, the same word plays. Like, I got the horses in the horse. Ha, horse stack is a horse. That should be a parody or a remix or a mashup, but it just doesn't count for some reason. It should be protected by the rules of fair use, but it isn't. So again, uh, when, I, when I put out that Old Town Road video a couple months ago where everything was a horse, I, uh, I got claimed by Sony. <clears throat> ooh, 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 big surprise there. I sent in the dispute then they said no. It's that simple, honestly. There's just, YouTube should be some sort of middle ground when it comes to a content ID and a content ID dispute. 
because what am I, somebody that had like maybe 1,200 subscribers at that point, supposed to do when Sony comes through my house looking for the money? I can't, I can't defend myself. I don't have a, I don't have a network. I don't have representation. It's just me. What am I supposed to do? You know? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? But, uh, and again, there's people that are going to consistently be of the mindset that is like, well, you just shouldn't use other people's content. Which is stupid, right? Yeah, you shouldn't upload somebody's entire music video or upload somebody's entire video, blah, blah, blah. You shouldn't do that. But say this channel that actually doesn't even exist anymore, Word of Wolf, uh, he doesn't really do videos where he's on screen. He's pretty much always commentating over the trailer for a movie that he's ranting about, like his Star Wars Episode Eight video. He did the same thing for Jurassic World 2, where he just talked over trailer footage. That trailer footage should be public domain, right? But it's not. Well, not, not particularly the public domain, but it should be up for fair use. If you're commentating over it and the trailer's audio has been muted and it's been looped over and over again for the duration of the video. But, of course, it doesn't count. And his video got taken down by Universal like three times before he got it to work. Which is dumb. But luckily, I haven't had that problem. I do have video essays where I talk over footage from a trailer for a movie or something like that. I've got a couple of those. And luckily, I haven't gotten claimed over that particularly, but still, sometimes the outro music will get me. And that's why the song that plays now is a song I made. And even, even though I made that song and I have the receipts and I could prove that I made that song, while I was uploading the video of it to YouTube, I was terrified that I was going to get content ID'd by some Icelandic record label and I wouldn't be able to do anything about it. That's how freaked out I am about the copyright system. Say you found this really banging remix of Billie Eilish's Bad Guy and you you love it to bits. It's so good. She's like, might seduce your... <laughs> or something like that. You know, the bass kicks heavy. You listen to this song like every day because it's only on YouTube. It's not on Spotify or anything like that. And then you, you do a little digging. You check the description and then it's like music in this video. Bad Guy. Billie Eilish, and then her entire record label's information is in there. You know what that means? That means that video was content ID'd and claimed by the owners of that song. So even if the song has been changed and re-edited and mixed up, you know, it's still like, hey, you know what? We heard three seconds of our actual song, that whole video and all the money that you would have made from it, ours now. And you can say, no, please don't take my money. But what's it supposed to do? You're going to lose. You can't, you by yourself cannot convince this entire company to be like, okay, yeah, sure, you can have it. Like, I've heard remixes of uh, Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, which is one of my favorite songs of all time, that went unclaimed for years, but the moment YouTube changed their claim system, boom, every single one of them that I ever listened to was claimed. Even if they are changed in some significant way, it doesn't matter because they heard the word Harder. Dunskis, it's over. Our work is never over. But beyond that, right, the fact that you can't even, the fact that I don't feel comfortable uploading my own song because I'm worried that YouTube system will let me get bullied by somebody. And even now, somebody can listen to it and be like, hmm, that sounds kind of similar to a song I put out. And they can just claim it whenever they want. That worries me a little bit because I've, I've got two more songs to do before this entire album is finished. And if I'm going to upload that entire album to YouTube, it could be so easy for somebody to be like, hmm, that fourth song that you that you put out sounds a lot like mine. Boom, gone. And what's your, what's your thing going to be then? Well, don't upload music, obviously. What, don't don't make what I want to make out of fear of a company coming after me? I should let YouTube system take advantage of me to that point. And it's funny because there's so many people that are like, oh, you're taking other people's content and then you're re-uploading it and now you want to complain that it got claimed? I don't care that it got claimed. 
but it's the fact that it got claimed by some sort of shadow group that I can't seem to find any real proof of. I can't I can't find anything about this Studio 71 underscore 2 underscore 1. They just do not seem to functionally exist. That's the part that bothers me because they're going to get away with it. They, no matter what they do, no matter who they claim, no matter what the content is, they will get away with it. Because YouTube probably doesn't even know that this subdivision of Studio 71 exists, you know? Um, but, I mean, if you look at my actual channel, uh, let's see, I've got 10 written link compilations. Uh, I've got three Tom Holland compilations, two Game Grumps 10 Minute Power Hour compilations, and one Robert Downey Jr. compilation. That's 16 compilation videos out of the over 250 videos that I have on this channel. I do the compilation videos for fun. When I'm talking about a movie or a game or a show or music, that stuff is what this channel is actually about. So don't, please do not tell me to just go make my own content because there is more of my own content than there is of anything else on this channel, okay? I've got more videos about Spider-Man than I've got about <laughs> Retin Link, okay? The Retin Link videos started out as and continue to be for fun. It is not my fault that they just outperform all my other videos. That's just how things worked, okay? But before I lose my mind, I just want to say that I really hope that in the future YouTube does something about this copyright system that's less predatory because, again, people shouldn't have to be afraid to upload music that they made for fun. I don't have copyright protection over it yet because copyright protection is expensive, you know? Look how many subscribers I have. I don't matter, you know? I, I don't make that much money from YouTube. And there's just, I can't, I can't protect myself. It's as simple as that. Um, that Try Not To Laugh video that I uploaded a while ago has 10 seconds of silence in it because um, there is a copyright claim on it over uh, Hot Dog, Hot Dog, Hot Diggity Dog from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So I had to remove that audio from the video so that I can make money off of it. It's just so frustrating. And um, I have no doubts that I will continue to have these problems with YouTube and their copyright system. But until something changes, please do share this video around. I don't want it to just be like, oh, I want views. I just want people to see and understand how YouTube isn't helping its creators, at least not in this particular case. Um, that's it for this time. See you later.